in today's video we're going to take apart this pressure washer pump right now by looking at it by the design I'm going to say it has some sort of swash plate in it but we won't know until we take it apart and this video goes along with the other video I uploaded on my main channel called pumps and pressure some people have a hard time understanding that pumps only give flow pumps don't create pressure it's very hard for some people to wrap their head around it pressure is force divided by the area that is an absolute fact you cannot change that anyways think about that let's take this pump apart So this is your pressure relief right here. We're gonna see if we can remove that so we can get inside of there. But if you look inside that orifice, you can see how it gets restricted down. And even inside here. Now, if you were to take the same piece, drill it out and put it back in, that would greatly affect the pressure. Because pressure is a result of restriction to flow. Now let's see if we can get that pressure relief valve out. So this is the pressure relief needle right here. It's actually quite interesting how it works. And then inside there, there's a check ball. As the water builds up pressure and goes over the pressure relief, it's gonna come through that hole there. And if you line that back up, it's gonna discharge right back in the suction and go back around. These are gonna be some valves right here. But let's remove this top piece. See what we discover underneath. I was trying to figure out what the hell this was. So you can see right there, the plungers are going down and up, down and up, as the plunger stroke. There's three valves inside there, three valves right there. So basically how these valves are gonna work, as fresh water comes in here, as the plunger stroke goes down, it's gonna suck in water, and then as it compresses it, that's gonna seal, otherwise it would push water back out through the suction, and then it's going to push this one out and allow the water to go out. And that's basically how these work. These plungers go up and down. As the pump flows the water out of these valves into these common ports here, there's a check ball right here and your pressure relief valve right here. What is pressure again? Force divided by the area. The area being what the water is in. This is your plunger seal and packing right here. Now I suspect when we take that apart, it's gonna be something more like that. However, the flow is something more like this. I just removed my finger because that's not the operation how it's gonna go. You can see right there, sucking the water in, pushing it out. One opens, one closes. Coming back to this thing, I almost wonder if it's an unloader cartridge that's set to go off at a certain pressure in case the pressure relief valve somehow fails and sends too much pressure back and you don't want to over pressure your water line. I could be wrong, but somebody probably knows and can chime in. This I'm pretty sure is going to be spring loaded so we're going to put it in a vise and take it apart slowly.
So we're just gonna be on a spring. I doubt it helps to be easier to see, so you can see as it turns how this works. Just to show you what rides on there is a set of bearings in there. That goes in there, another set of bearings. So if any of you are wondering, this would be classified as a positive displacement pump. To recap, water flows through here, gets sucked in here, water flows out through these valves, where this creates pressure, pressure relief valve will control the pressure. If it reaches that pressure or goes over that pressure, it is released back in here where it'll flow through again. And like I said, somebody could probably correct me, but I think this is like a blowout cartridge. I'm pretty sure this is another safety, just in case something was to happen because you don't want to overpressurize your water line because if you put 200 pounds of pressure through your water line, that could cause some serious damage, but somebody can correct me on what that is. Anyways, that's pretty much what I have to show you. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I hope you enjoyed this video of what's inside pressure washer pump.